all I knew was just to go back to comma, so I crawled back into my old burnt out apartment block. <laughs> was it badly damaged? Uh, my, this is a horrible thing. Is the rest of it was gutted, but my place was left essentially unscathed. Wow. So, you know, the majority of all of one side of the building was completely gutted. The main foyer was just completely gutted, but we had a massive brick wall between our apartment and just you know, un untouched. And that it's was... Still in no, no, hell no. No, no, it, it, it was... It was it's still empty, but it's it's still there, and it's actually really horrible. It's um, it's one of the worst things about it. I kind of wish it just burned down. You know, that's the worst thing that's been going on. Is is, is probably the you know just um, you know like because it's here. I think in my psyche, it's very hard to kind of move on. And so I've been having a lot of, you know, I, I, not so much now, I've calmed down a little on the... I found a way to kind of deal with the dreams. Um, I actually revisited the place, um, kind of broken, and took some video actually, it was pretty cool. Got some really awesome pan shots <laughs> of this empty, empty place, you know, and it's just really surreal. Um, you know, what does it represent? Well, for, for months, I just, you know, I'd be dreaming about it every night. Every night, you know, I'd be back in the apartment, I'd be home, I'd feel good. And then, like, it, it's, you know, but I'd be in the dream, and then things would just start kind of falling around me, like the walls melting, or, or just kind of chipping away, or, or turn kind of into some kind of almost solid, you know, like dough-like um, substance, and things like that. So kind of a trauma response. Oh, absolutely. I, I know I've got PTSD from it. I, I can't. I can't. You know, it's funny that the apartment became it. It's not a nature. But it's, you know, trust me being a man to you know, hold everything dear into my, my work. So dreams are first on, on first fear and then things are happening where I have to get out or it's just falling apart around me and I'm just ignoring it. Or... So your safety is compromised. Still feels that way? Well, it's just home. I mean, it's all I've known. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it represented me. It embodied me. The apartment was me. I mean, I, I, I renovated top to bottom of that place. It was, it was predominantly where I, I mean, I was very housebound in some respects for the last few years as well because of stress and just everything. Like, it was, it was. Chemicals. It was my oasis, it was, it was everything about me. And then like, so, you know, as the months went on, these dreams would change. Other people would be moving in, and I'd be like, why are you in my home? Or, and then I'd have to kind of show them, you know, what had happened. And the hidden places in the house that had all the damage that they just weren't seeing, and then... You know, just really surreal. And every, I mean, just too many to remember. Just everyone, was, every dream was different. But then some of them were just so eerily real. Um, not so much now. I found a way to cope with it, and it was actually to revisit the place. Um, yeah, to break in and get in there. And Realise what well, I wasn't missing almost. So you managed to move all of your stuff out. So yeah. Your stuff yeah. All yeah. All my stuff's in my. Yeah. All my stuff's in my. My new place now. But um. Uh. When did the time all of that happen? Um, January twentieth. Last year. Yeah. yeah. So it's been a while. Yeah, it's been like 12, 14 months. Um, uh, most the, the problem was is that most of the time I, you know, as soon as the fire happened, I was still in the middle of my studies, and so the trial and the fire and all that went, you know, went 
horribly wrong, but I, I had my thesis. So I just just engrossed myself in that for like months and months and months. And it wasn't until like basically November and I went for this mess when I basically lost the plot. So I, I, I came back mostly now. I'm still working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's when I come. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so I've mostly dealt with it, but I I can kind of feel it itching back because of the, the new proceedings that I just go through now. And I'm finding all these, you know, these, these tendencies of, you know, dread and I'm dying and you know, all these other horrible things coming back, you know. How was your help?